everyone. In this video, we will explain how to get started with the rasterization plugins and presets found in Digital Factory. With Digital Factory open, import the image you're going to work on and right-click the job. Select Production Plugins from the drop-down menu and click on Rasterization. If the plugin is unavailable for your file type, select Convert to Raster from the menu. Once the conversion is complete, the rasterization plugin will be available in the Production Plugins menu along with several other plugins. The file will open in the Rasterization dialog with a list of presets on the right side. They are named according to the changes they will make. The segments and the naming structure are as follows. Segment 1, the type of printer you're using, DTF or laser. Segment 2, whether the semi-transparent areas are clipped or blended smoothly. Segment 3, whether the rasterization is applied in all opaque areas over the entire image or only in the semi-transparent areas. And finally, segment 4, when applicable, if a boost to the color has been applied. Next, select the garment color you'll be printing on. In this example, black will be selected. When the garment color is chosen, that color will be automatically knocked out from the design. Therefore, choosing black will knock out the black background of the image, and choosing white will knock out white in the graphic, which works best for white t-shirts. To see changes more easily for dark garments, select Transparency located at the bottom. By choosing the color option for garment color on the right, you'll be able to choose the color you'd like to knock out by clicking on the color preview sample. This will open the color selection dialog. Choose your color and click OK. Your selected color will now be knocked out from the design. After going back to the selection of black for garment color, select a preset to view the changes in real time on the left. Use the color boost slider on the bottom left to directly alter the colors of your design. You can adjust the colors darker or lighter. The tolerance slider allows you to control the intensity or strength of the color knockout. To view changes more clearly, you can zoom in to a maximum of 100% with the zoom control at the bottom. You can select a preset, but then change settings such as lines per inch, dot size, and the color boost value to achieve the desired effect. When you're finished making changes, select Save As and give it a custom name to create your own preset. Your preset has now been saved and can be used by selecting it in the preset list on the right. Now that you have selected or modified the settings, click OK. Your presets will be applied and you're ready to print. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering digital factory products. Thank <laughs> you.